some of the older captains used to think that women were bad luck on the ship, so I was treated that way. So there are people out there that don't think women are capable of working on vessels. It's not just men, it's women as well. And to me, they don't matter. This maritime industry is just 2% women, and often being the only woman on board can feel very isolating. A lot of men in the industry aren't thrilled about having women on board the ship. I wanted to have a role model, a mentor. I wanted to know more women, and I ended up on a vessel in 2015 where there were a ton of women. And really, there were just about 10 out of 150. All of a sudden, I'm not this anomaly walking down the deck. I've noticed that the implicit bias drops down a notch. There also tends to be some role models for the women just starting out. That's how the industry should be. So the idea of womenoffshore.org came to light at that point and I started working on it with women in the industry and some men too who were championing diversity. Women Offshore is an online organization and resource center supporting a diverse workforce on the water. I've really enjoyed meeting women from all over the world who gravitated towards the site, who have wanted to be those role models, sharing their lessons learned on the water, sharing their achievements and experiences, and then also meeting women who are just starting out their careers. You know, it's like having friends all over the world that understand what you're going through, because my friends from home don't understand what it's like to be gone all night and miss Christmas because you have to drive a ship. If I tried to go tell another girlfriend about some of the struggles I maybe had trying to load out an oil tanker by myself, they wouldn't get it. But if I can go speak to these women, they get it. We speak each other's languages and we can share in each other's victories. I have a lot of people depending on women offshore to be there. So I found Hiscox through a Google search. They had good reviews and it was affordable. It seemed that it would work for my small business. You just never know what's going to happen. And having that in your back pocket can give you peace of mind that you can continue on in this you know, unknown world as an entrepreneur and not have to worry. I grew up uh, boating with my dad and started boating when I was uh, very young. And I just love being on the water and just taking the helm at a very young age. And I would just stare out at the ocean and like, I just need to be out there. I would tell any young woman interested in getting into the industry, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and never give up. You have to go into it with a positive attitude or you're always going to think you're different. But I would say you could do it. The sky's the limit or maybe the ocean's the limit. So there are people out there that don't think women are capable. And to me, they don't matter. What matters are the people that champion diversity and inclusion. The people that don't think we can be out here, we can prove them wrong by being out here. The goal here is to find the biggest, the best, and the baddest. The creativity. We love it. Know an amazing small business? Visit secretlyawesomebiz.com to tell us about it, and they could be featured in an upcoming episode of Secretly Awesome, sponsored by Hiscox Insurance.